Hey, the trigger, Rich Bond trigger. Hey, uh, I am working in the backyard today doing some uh, leaf work here and uh, raking and huffing and puffing. Uh, now living in Colorado, but today as I'm doing this, I've been thinking in my own mind, I thought I'd just open up the video camera and share with you today, is that uh, about two and a half years ago, almost three years ago, I was in Georgia uh, with my liver failure at a pretty high level. And I was living with my brother and Dan and I were working on the house and we weren't raking, but I did do raking down there. And these little horrible little ball things are terrible. Yeah. But no, we were painting on the house one day. And I was really at one of those points that I was trying to do the best I could. I was pouring out all my energy and it really wasn't a lot enough for me. Now, Dan was being extremely patient with me uh, and knowing that my energy was at, knowing that my health was getting worse and worse. But we're outside, we're painting the house. And I really got frustrated with myself because I couldn't go fast enough for me, my usual pace. Um, I didn't think I was getting anywhere and I just knew life was slipping away from me. I literally knew life was going out of me with every stroke and with everything. And I lost it. I just lost it. And he came over and talked with me a little bit and just listened to the rant of a guy that was losing life. I know as an UNOS ambassador, there's a lot of people out there that, that get to that point. We, we all get to the point where you have hope, you're waiting for the call to get on the donor list, you're waiting for the organ, and you're seeing life slip away every day. You can't do the things you used to do. And it's really frustrating because your mind is telling you you want to, your heart is telling you you want to, but you also physically can't do it. And you wonder if you ever will again. And for many transplant recipients, Honestly, there is disability. There is some sort of not full get back to once you once were. It's part of the conversation. However, in my particular case, I have been extremely blessed to come back to an extremely high level and pace of life. And today as I'm out here in the backyard, having a blast raking leaves, getting all sweaty, I'm not huffing and puffing the way I did. I'm not drained of life, in fact, I feel more alive now because I am in the backyard doing these things of my own free will, more energized than I have been in years, and it's because I was given a new liver. I was given the chance to survive and live again just when I was so close to the very end. Someone else died so that I could live, and I made a promise that if I ever got that organ, I was going to live life to the fullest that I could, both for my own sake, but to also honor the one that gave. If you have not checked your driver's license, if you have not marked yourself as a donor, I really want to encourage you to do it. Someone like me is out there that's wanting to live life, that's wanting to live life to the fullest, but honestly, life is slipping away. And you never know when your life may pass from this world and you have the opportunity to help somebody else stay alive in this world simply because our body is failing them. And someone else, maybe someone else, have the chance to live the life I'm living now that is full and rich and amazing again. And a simple chore is being in the backyard to be one of the most coolest, one of the most exciting things in the world. So don't take your life for granted and don't pass the opportunity to help somebody else because you never know who that person may be. So from the backyard in Longmont, Colorado, this is the Trigger Rich Bond saying God bless, have a great day and remember Contact me if you want to know anything more about being an UNO supporter and also have me come speak and share about my liver transplant and how it has radically changed my life and how it can change yours.